Hey everyone, so today for the Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be looking at our Veeam Backup and Replication server, which has no additional plugins installed. We're going to be taking those two minutes to get that Nutanix backup for Nutanix HV plugin installed, and we're going to just show how easy it is to get up and run in there and to start protecting those workloads with more to come around deploying the proxies out into the Nutanix AHV clusters, but then also things around the Nutanix FLR appliance and all of the good stuff that's come in the latest release. So as you saw, I've just gone through and double clicked on the download, very small download, like meg, not, not gig. And this is bolted on to that existing VBR installation. They are separate downloads today, but I think expect later on that this plugin will still will be available within the ISO. So it's pretty, in a very Veeam simple way, is very next, 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 start the services and off you go. So what we're going to do is obviously this is going to zip through. I see a minute left and we're there. We've installed it. I haven't sped that up at all either, by the way. Um, and now when we jump back into VBR shortly, you're going to see that the availability of being able to add in your new Nutanix AHV cluster alongside the existing VMware or the Hyper-V or even protection groups for your physical workloads, your physical agents. So that's the, the plugin deployed. Now if we go and open that console, we should, in theory, when we go to add that infrastructure or infrastructure node, you might have seen at the very beginning of the two minute chat or just before that you would have seen the uh that we only had the vSphere the Hyper-V and the protection groups now we're going to see that Nutanix HV option as well so let's add server and there we go there's the Nutanix HV and that's it come back next time